Hey guys, Moana Bear here, and today we're going to talk about what the rich people invest in that the other people don't. Let's get to it. So, hey guys, my name is Moana Bear, and today I want to talk about, I guess, some of the things that, what do you see rich people invest in? What is it? Is it something specific? Is it a specific business? Is it just real estate? Maybe all the rich people will invest in crypto. I want to really dive into it and explain to you what I think most of the people who I met in person are doing. I'm talking multi multi millionaires hundreds of millions in net worth billionaires as well and i want to show you what i saw from my first time from kind of like literally talking to them and meeting with them and interacting with them and partnering with some of them and many people out there think that it's maybe just something specific is it just startup um some will tell you hey you need to spread your eggs in, in different basket and not just focus on one thing maybe they just focus on one thing um, some will tell you hey they only invest in startups some will tell you they only invest in real estate so what is true? And it's so hard to nowadays really understand because you see many people out there, especially nowadays in the online world. I mean, there are many, many people out there who make money and they are out there and this guy do that and that guy do that. And there are so many opportunities. You can invest in startups, you can start a business from scratch, you can invest in real estate or buy an existing business. You can put your money into crypto or the stock market or do all different things. And people believe that there's only one way to do it that it's just this or just that. Um, I want to focus on, I guess, a few specific things because at least based on the messages that I get, most of the people who message me, they think that they got to start a business from scratch. And I just want to open your eyes to the fact that 99% of businesses that start from scratch fail. I mean, in the first 10 years, they will fail. I don't care what. And even those, I mean, those who succeed in the first five years, they have another very long next five years to hopefully make it. And most of them won't. I mean, most startups fail, and it's, it's really sad to see it. And most people don't believe that that's going to be the case with them because they believe they're smarter, they believe that they, they have a better attitude. And it might be true, but if you just look at the stats out there, most will fail and never underestimate how wrong you can be. And I think never underestimate the fact that other people are smarter as well. At the same time, don't think that they're smarter than you. So always put things in perspective. Now, I think the decision on where to invest your money comes down to, I guess, some of your beliefs, some of your goals. Because, for example, for me personally, I want to invest in cash flow, in assets that producing cash flow, things like real estate and things like existing profitable businesses. For example, startups, there's nothing wrong with investing in startups. The problem is that, like I said, this is kind of like a gambling because most of them fail. Now, it's more than okay to do that, but most of the people that I know we invest in startup, they know in advance. And even if you look at VC firms, at venture capital firms, they know that one out of 10 of those businesses will make it. And he will bring basically back the investment on the other nine that fail. Now, if you want to start a business, I just don't think that it's smart to be that one, that, that person who put all of his life savings, all of his hours of the week to try to be that one out of 10 who might make it. If you're coming from an investor perspective, when you invest in 10 different businesses and you invest passively, that's okay. Now you might say, hey, I can just start 10 businesses. No, you can't. You can't put your time, uh, you can't put the same time and same effort in 10 different businesses. It just makes no sense. So that's one thing. Just ask yourself, do you like to gamble? I don't like to gamble, at least not, not with the majority of my money. Maybe a small percentage to invest into startup, it's okay. But I rather put my focus into cash flow producing assets into buying existing businesses, into buying ideally business that's already existing for at least 10 years. So they basically skipped the startup phase and we're going into those businesses when there's already good fundamentals, there's already good track record for that business and many loyal employees and customers and suppliers. And basically, like I said, again, good fundamentals for business. That's what I look into. And it can be a real estate as well. But real estate, the upside can be only so much. So I think it's good to, I guess if you want to talk about diversification, I think maybe real estate and business is the way to do it because real estate is more safe, you could say. At the same time, it's not really safe. If you look at some of the years in the past, you can never know. But with businesses, I just like the fact that there's much, up, much better upside and you can grow businesses two, three times a year sometimes if you know what to do, if you have an understanding of business, if you have the contacts, the network and all that. So remember, if you look out there and you try to learn from everyone, everyone will tell you something else. Someone will tell you to start a business, start Amazon business, FBA, uh, consulting, e-commerce, technology startups, SaaS company, sales company, whatever. 
That's one way to do it. And the other way to do it is find a way to buy an existing businesses or existing assets by leveraging other resources. I think it comes down to what is your passion, what is your experience, what is your network as well. And it comes to understand of eventually you need to think with yourself, what do you want to do in your day to day? And if your day to day want to be involved in the day to day nitty gritty of the business and that's what you like to do and you like to manage small things and repeatable things, things that you do again and again every day, then maybe starting a business can, can be a good for you, thing for you. Um, but again, you can do that in a business that you buy as well. You can go and buy an existing business and use that assets, that existing business assets as a leverage to buy that business and to use things like seller financing, to use things like um, using financial institutions. And maybe you need to bring a small amount from your pocket to just, uh, I guess, fill the gaps in the equity part of the deal, but it's not a must as well sometimes. So that's what I would suggest you to do. And again, it's also uh, it comes back again to what you want to do in your day to day. So if you want to be the strategic person, the person who's just basically setting the goals and basically delegating to your employees to do those tasks to achieve those goals. That's at least personally what I like to do. I like to do the, the art of the deal type of activities to go out there and negotiate on deals, find deals and just grow by acquisitions. And I just think it's the fastest way to build my net worth. And at the same time, really enjoy my life because you're basically location independent and you, you, you don't have to be in one business. We basically find managers to run those businesses for us. Even if it means that we're taking less money home per business because we pay a salary to someone to run those businesses for us, but then the scalability is much higher and there's so much more you can do. So, and I mean, this month alone, we're about to close two deals. Both are in the millions of dollars in sales. So it's definitely doable. That's what we do. And just pick what you prefer. But remember that it's all about achieving your goals in the end of the day. Think about the outcome that you want. You want to have better lifestyle, better income, or you just want to, I don't know, work on your dream to be the next Facebook. I think that's what it comes down to in the end of the day and picking based on both what you want. I think that buying businesses can help you be that Facebook eventually. But if you start from scratch, the chances are just too small, in my opinion, to put all your heart and focus on that. So yeah, that's, that's kind of like, that's it for today. Kind of short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to explore if buying businesses or growing back positions and I can fit you, go to moanpober.com forward slash talk or just see the links in the description below. You can also send me your biggest questions and see the links in the description below. That's how I'm creating my videos and that's it. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Where do you see yourself investing your time? Where do you see yourself in the next five years, 10 years? And what are your plans to get there? Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.